Today, I've got a problem from TBO's Problem Solving Booklet, a booklet designed to helping students prepare for their Oxford slash Cambridge uh, interviews, so mathematics interviews, to be precise. We want to show that if four distinct points on the curve y equals 2x to the 4 plus 7x cubed plus 3x minus 5 are collinear, then the average x-coordinate is some constant k. We want to find the value of k. OK, interesting. Um, a, quite a cool problem. We've got a quartic here, which maybe seem a bit scary. Um, and we're told that there are four points on here, distinct points, which are collinear. Now, you might think of various things here um, of what to do. You might think of, well, what does this look like? And these numbers are kind of random, a 2, 7, 3, minus 5. Maybe this factorizes nicely. Maybe I can sketch this. Um, but it turns out we don't really need to have a super amazing sketch of this, but that's an idea you could have. Let's just draw down maybe what this looks like. So we know it's a quartic, so it's going to look W-ish, a bit like this. And we have four distinct points which are collinear. So in fact, it might be easy if I draw the line first. Let's say we have those points there. And we can just give them a name. So maybe that one's x1, y1. That one's x2, y2. That's x3, y3. That's x4, y4. It doesn't really matter. Um, and this line, we can just call y equals mx plus c. It's a straight line. OK, and I guess, we, well, you might ask, well, how do we know that the line isn't vertical? Because obviously that those are the only straight lines which don't take this form. Well, obviously, if it's vertical, then it could only have one point of intersection with this quartic. But we're told that there are four. So it has to be in the form y equals mx plus c. Okie dokie. And we want to find the average of these x coordinates. And this seems quite bizarre. Um, given that we don't know what the four points are, nor do we know what this straight line is. OK, well, what can we do? Well, we can look at the difference between these two things. So if I consider the function, which is 2x to the 4 minus 7x, oh, sorry, plus 7x cubed plus 3x minus 5, and then subtract mx plus c, and let me just call this f of x for the time being, I know that f of x here clearly is a quartic, and so has at most four roots. But in fact, we know what those four roots are. They're going to be x1, x2, x3, and x4, because those lie on both the quartic and on the straight line mx plus c. So um, th they're going to cancel out, and that they're going to be roots of this equation. OK, great. So that tells me that this quartic here can be written as like x minus x1 oops, times x minus x2 times x minus x3 times x minus x4, like so. And because the coefficient of x to the 4 here is 2, we need to make sure we put a 2 at the front to account for the x to the 4 when we expand it. OK, this is quite cool. So we've got two different ways of writing f of x. One in this form, where there's kind of two unknowns, m and c. It turns out we don't actually need to know what those are to solve this problem. And this form here is kind of the product of the roots. But since these things are supposed to be the same for every single value of x, that means the coefficients of x to the 4 must be the same, the coefficients of x cubed must be the same, and so on. And I'm going to focus on the coefficient of x cubed. You can expand this if you like, and if you've seen Vieta's formulae before, you probably can see where this is going. If I were to expand out the, the right-hand side, i.e. this thing, the coefficient of x cubed would be minus 2 times x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4, like so. So just to see kind of roughly where that's coming from, uh, if I, oh, sorry, there wouldn't be a minus sign there. Whoops. So I would take maybe, oh, no, there would be a minus sign. Apologies. Um, how would I get an x cubed from this? I can take maybe the minus x1 from here and then x, x, and x, and that's going to give me a minus x1 times x cubed. And then we've got this 2 in the front here, which I have factored out. I could also then take the x here, the minus x2, the x here, and the x here, and that will give me minus x2, x cubed, and so on. Uh, but if you're not convinced by that, in theory, you could just expand this. And OK, this is quite cool. If we look at the coefficient of x cubed on the left side, it's just 7. So we get 7 equals, just put this on the side here, minus 2 times x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4, and so therefore, the sum of the roots 
which is kind of what we want. Well, we want the sum of the roots over four to take the average of them is going to be minus seven over two over four, which is minus seven eight. And that there would be the average of the x coordinates, and so k would be minus seven eight. An interesting problem. I'm not too sure how this would be phrased in an interview, to be completely honest, because I feel there's kind of a trick to it of subtracting these guys. And if you've seen Vieta's formula before, maybe um, this is kind of intuitive to do. Maybe it's not. Um, but I don't see much depth in this problem. Uh, may maybe there is some depth and I'm, I'm failing to spot, spot it here. But normally interview questions that kind of start off quite nicely, quite easily, and then they kind of build into these deeper and deeper problems. So maybe this was the last part of a problem. Um, and that you've kind of done some bits before that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting how the three and the five didn't really come into play here uh, in the same way that M and C really didn't matter. Um, but that's how we solve this problem. A pretty cool problem. I think it's quite cool that no matter how we draw this straight line, as long as it intersects the graph four times, the average of those X coordinates of those points will always be the same, minus seven, eight. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed and best of luck if you have got your math interviews uh, for Oxford or Cambridge this week or maybe next week. Um, best of luck. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.